Carl, are you alright? Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, you look busy setting up, but yeah, have you got time for 20 questions? Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. So, first one, to kick things off, do you get it? That's very drunk. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about First Touch. Uh, so First Touch is a football club that's designed to give kids in the local community access to quality football coaching. Brilliant. And when was it founded? 2021. Uh, we started off with just myself doing one-on-ones and now we've expanded into 14 teams, 10 coaches and we're doing really well. That's brilliant. And tell me a little bit about facilities. I don't know what's going on here and what, so what you've got in there. So this is our 11 v 11 facility. Uh, it's where we do all our training, our games. We've got a clubhouse over there and a car park that's behind you. Uh, we're getting a bit too big for this place so we're looking for a second facility but right now the den's our home. So you're getting too big for a place. Can you tell us a little bit about the programmes that you offer? So we do JPL teams, which is a higher level standard between academy and grassroots football. Uh, we offer one-on-one -on, -one on private coaching, which is what you see behind you now. Uh, we do group sessions, which are for, tailored for anybody from any club to come down. And we also have a girls programme that's uh, an inclusive programme that's open to any player who wants to come. Brilliant. And can you describe the company's ethos in just three words? Whoa put me on the spot. Um, development, trust, fun. Good, good. Now, um, a big question. In your opinion, who is the greatest footballer of all time? Simple. Maradona. Because he played on pitches like this and did the things that Messi does on a carpet. <laughs> and when watching football, what is the best half-time snack? I'm going to have to go over pie, traditional. Good, good choice, good choice. So back to work now. What is your job title? I'm the director of coaching for First Touch. And take me through a typical day in the life of a director. So typically I start at nine in the morning doing all the admin and designing all the session plans for the day that we're going to be hitting. So whether that's a Monday where we have our JPL teams or a Thursday where our game, girls train, we do bespoke sessions based around their developmental needs. Then at about two o'clock, I come here, get set up, and we go into the den where we set up our training sessions, as you see behind you. And I mean, you've done so much, but what would you say is your greatest achievement so far with First Touch? Ah, that's an awesome question. I would say the fact that we've grown so exponentially in three years, we started off with just myself and eight clients, and now we work with over 500 kids a year, we have 14 teams and that expansion has led to loads of kids having access to football of a quality level that they wouldn't normally get. And so how many members of staff do you currently have then? So there's three full-time members, uh, four part-time and three self-employed. So. And do you have any Hull, University of Hull we alumni? We actually do. Uh, one of our full-time employees, Conor Bibby, is an alumni and we also have Kia, who's currently used, working as a part-time coach for us. Okay. And is there any sports-related roles that you recruit for? No, we're looking for anything really. At the moment, we're recruiting for uh, graphic design, media, uh, sports science, coaching, uh, marketing. You know, we're expanding quite rapidly and we need support all over the place. Brilliant. But uh, uh, this is a den. Uh, we're going to take you inside and see the club ops. Great. Uh, and these roles, are they more aimed at graduates full time or part time or during the studies? So, all of them really. Uh, we're looking for part-time coaches to come in and help with stuff like summer camps and our group and team coaching. We're also looking for part-time people to come in on, on the media and marketing side but from a developmental point of view we're looking for full-time members primarily looking at around 23, 24 the end of that season to come on full-time and to support us more as we grow. Right and do you need to have studied or be studying a specific degree in order to apply? No. Uh, as long as you have some experience either on the field, off the field, or in your personal life, then that's fine with us. Perfect. And um, what three qualities, skills uh, do you look for in, in a potential employee? Um, the main one is being able to adapt to situations, especially when you're working with kids from four years old to 18. Um, being open to challenge, uh, being open to growth. Perfect. Um, and what is your favourite part working at First Touch? I've got to be working with the kids. Like, they're crazy. On every single level, every kid's different. Uh, we have to adapt and adjust our personalities and our coaching styles to suit the kids, and that's a pretty interesting way to work. Every day I come to work, I have a smile on my face, so can't get a better job than that.
God. And in your opinion, what makes this club stand out as a football club? I think our family feel we're an inclusive club. Uh, we welcome anybody in, no matter where they're from, what they do, how they've got here. And once you're in, you've got a pretty solid basis for staying here forever. We want to be part of the community and be a positive member of that. And so what does success look like for you? I think continuing to expand, not only in our teams and players, but also in the, the staff that we have and growing to the level that we're capable of, I believe. And having a, a real impact and a change on the landscape of football in the pub. And to finish off, you'll be pleased to know, can you tell me what's the best piece of advice anyone has ever given you? Fear is temporary, regret is permanent. Cool. Uh, so thanks very much for showing me around today. You're welcome. I'll see you later. You're welcome back anytime. Take care.